iPhone 15 Ultra will be the first smartphone to do this. Just when we thought Samsung and Qualcomm has cashed up to Apple in the race of the best, Apple is like, too bad, I am still alive. The iPhone 15 Ultra will truly show how ultra a smartphone can be when it comes to power and efficiency. We have the first early look at the iPhone 15 Ultra's Apple A17 Geekbench 6 benchmark result and you can see this is beyond amazing. It's the first device to score beyond 3000 for single core and near 8000 for the multi-core score. It's a very hefty jump in score when we compare it to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 inside the S23 Ultra and the Apple A16 on the iPhone 14 Pro. All of this power jump while being 20 to 25% power efficient thanks to 3 nanometer architecture. Yes, this will be the first phone in the world to have a 3 nanometer chip. Not just that, Apple is actually going full on monster mode, eating up all the next gen 3 nanometer chip orders from TSMC, leaving nothing for Samsung and Qualcomm and MediaTek for now. Thanks to next-gen process, Apple will likely keep its undisputed title of being the battery drain test champ. Hate them or love them, Apple is definitely the innovator when it comes to the chipset game. Now what can A17 do other than those benchmarks? Well, Apple is rumored to enhance its camera capabilities thanks to the new powers of A17. They can add 8K video, 4K 60fps cinematic mode for the first time on an iPhone, perhaps a new photonic engine too for even better better processing of photos. It's definitely a massive jump of performance, something that Android cannot match right now, but hopefully by the time with the Galaxy S24 series, Qualcomm can bring its 3 nanometer 8 Gen 3. Also in the news, we have the first hands-on look at the iPhone 15 design mockups, revealing some surprising information. It seems like the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus might actually be backward compatible with the older cases, but not the Pro iPhones. The Pro iPhones will have solid state buttons and bigger camera lenses, so older cases will likely not be compatible. There's not a huge change in terms of the overall shape of the phone, but we could see better material like titanium on the Pro iPhones. You can also see what looks to be a slightly wider charging port. Yes, USB-C is indeed coming to the iPhone 15 series. All thanks to European Union's law. Again, I'm very curious to see how Apple will introduce USB-C on stage. Will they do something different? most likely yes it will be a sight to see now last but not the least in order to truly qualify for the ultra level apple has to introduce a proper periscope camera system for the iphone 15 ultra and latest rumors are once again pointing towards a folded camera slash periscope lens it will be interesting to see if apple can bring 10x level zoom or stay up to 6x level as the previous rumors have said so that's all of this news apple is 17 brilliance is coming to the iPhone 15 Ultra and the 15 Pro. First phone to have 3 nanometer architecture and crazy benchmark performance. It will translate to camera as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.